Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hi. We have got an exciting thing for you today. We've got a beautiful home here in the Sombrero Beach area of uh, Marathon, and we've already done a walkthrough on it. Guys, it is gorgeous. You gotta come along with us and see this. We're here with our friend Alexia Mann. She is an associate broker with Island Breeze Realty here in Marathon. And Alexia is gonna take us through the house, show us everything. You guys gotta see this place. Come along with us, let's go take a look. I'm super excited, yay. We have to put our mask on because we're going inside. Get prepared. <laughs> we did come prepared. Outside, we feel like we're pretty safe, you know, but inside, we're gonna go with a mask. All right. All right. Wow, look at this place, honey. Pretty. It's amazing. Pretty pretty. I love all this open for the living room, dining room, kitchen, so everybody can be together. Yeah. That's one of our favorite concepts is that open floor plan for the main living area. So this looks like a beautiful kitchen and the countertops, are they? These are all quartz, quartz? countertops. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, quartz countertops, they continue that into the bathrooms as well. So all the bathrooms have the same cabinetry style and the quartz countertops as well. Okay, nice big sink. Because you know when you have a bunch of people over and you got the big pot that you can't wash and yeah. everything. Yeah. This house so. is great for entertaining for sure. It is. Stainless steel appliances, beautiful cabinets. Look, they have a little ice maker and a Margaritaville blender. We need the ice maker for our house. <laughs> we do. Our fridge doesn't have an ice maker. <laughs> and these floors. They are travertine? Travertine floors throughout, yep. So this um, travertine is continued uh, throughout this space. And then the bedrooms are gonna be carpet, but our steps that will go upstairs, which you'll show in a minute, are marble steps. Okay. And the travertine does continue onto the sun deck on the top porch as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we go outside and see the porch? Sure. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go out and see. What a view. What a beautiful view. Wow. All the way across to the sunrise and the moon, moonrise. All right, so this decking does not look like wood. I bet it's. It's composite, composite. decking, yep. Yay. Composite decking, it goes all the way around. It's a wraparound porch, so you can even watch the 4th of July parade from your front porch. It comes right down Sombrero Beach Road. Awesome. It's always nice. We have to go up here. Okay. Let's go see. Let's go see. Wow, another amazing view. <laughs> so, do the uh, bedrooms, is this like a master bedroom and a secondary bedroom? This is bedroom? the wet bar here. Oh, that's the so wet this bar. this is the wet bar in the entertaining area here. Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom over here. Okay, so we'd be able to come from the wet bar mm -hmm. to the porch, the wet bar, and never go downstairs. Yep, absolutely. You can have your breakfast up here without ever having to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, and again, travertine awesome. floors. And everything is, again, the impact windows and doors. So. Gotcha. Oh, that's great. Such a nice little area. I did not touch that. <laughs> <laughs> little fridge up here, sitting room. This is just yeah, awesome. Beautiful. So it comes in and you've got plenty of room for doing laundry. Mm -hmm. And the big laundry sink, I love those because you got fish towels that you need to clean. Yeah. <laughs> and a half bath here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful nice. travertine on the wall. Oh, and a very nice full bedroom here for your guest or somebody who needs to be on the level of the kitchen. 
because they like to get up and have midnight snacks. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> oh, look at this. A Jack and Jill bathroom. So that these two rooms share that. And double vanity. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Travertine tiles on the walls and the floors. And I love these little blue tiles in there. Yeah, I like the way they had those accents all through the house. They just give mm -hmm. it a real beachy Florida feel. Yes, it does. Oh, and a guest bedroom for the kids. Yeah. Keep the kids down here. Perfect. Shall we go upstairs? Let's do. All right. Looks like we've got yeah. marble, marble yeah, stuff. Mm -hmm. And again, with the detail on the tiles. Mm -hmm. I love this. If you look up, they have these beautiful lamps that kind of look like jellyfish. Oh, wow. <laughs> they do. Honey, you got to see this. Oh, cool. I love those. So, here is another guest bedroom. Oh, and it's got its own bathroom. It's got a walk-in closet. You know what this means? What? Our children would want to come live with us. Or at least, you know, one of them, like my daughter, because <laughs> she would have a full <laughs> walk-in closet in exactly. her own bathroom. Oh, and another beautiful bathroom. I love the countertops. You can put all your stuff out there and get ready. A beautiful shower. Always look, it reminds me of a little creek when they have the tiles in there look like little stones. Mm-hmm. Fun little creek. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the master. This is where we would live, honey. Well, we wouldn't live here, actually. We would live outside, but <laughs> yeah, no we would really enjoy this. Can do yoga out here in the middle of the floor. That's yeah, huge. Exercise if you want to. Come over here and show this side of it. It's really pretty. This is a huge room. It is. I mean, huge. I wonder what the dimensions are on it. I don't know, but it's really. <laughs> I mean, it's big enough to been a lot of houses down here. There. This one is so spacious. Look at all that room. Wow. Super awesome. Lots of storage in there. Yeah. Oh, and a beautiful big bathroom. What what are these sinks made out of? Glass. Glass? No, oh, I'm sorry. These, yes. This is this is more like a I believe these are travertine as well. Really? Mm -hmm. They're just gorgeous. Yeah, very pretty. I mean you do see glass ones a lot, but that that's unique. It's, or for me, I haven't seen this. <laughs> yeah, I believe these ones are traveling. Really nice. Mm -hmm. oh, and look what we have. Big yeah. linen closet. Yeah. You got to have a place to store all your linens. Yeah. You know, that's important. Look at the show. Oh, and gorgeous. Look at these tiles. Or blocks. Are they like glass blocks? They're, they're, they're blocks. They're blocks. Mm -hmm. They are. Blocks, but they're just they're the light coming through. It looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. That does. Oh, and a nice stand-up shower. Oh, they got a big shower head in here too. And a separate one, so you could go either way with that. You know it's a large shower when you and I both can get in here and I can be far <laughs> enough away from you to film you in the shower. <laughs> we can have social distancing in the shower. <laughs> Very pretty. And you've got your view of the ocean out here. All you gotta do beautiful. is sit up and look. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, and here's the wet bar. So that's where we came in off the porch. Yeah, we came in off the porch right there. Into this room. So very convenient to the master bedroom. Get up and have a little breakfast here. Or before you retire in the evening, go sit outside. Yeah. Right here. All your stuff you need. TV room, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect space for morning mimosas. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> coming out the front door here from the house. It's a whole wraparound porch, yeah, right? Whole yeah, whole wraparound porch. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at this. You have some really nice trees out here. The driveway is really pretty. Yeah. And all paver driveway. Yeah. One thing that's important to know about this house is uh, it is an all block construction. It is, uh, it is up elevated obviously as you saw and it is all block construction. Everything new in 2012 from the lower level up. I think the lower level was built in the early to mid 90s. Uh, but still same construction, uh, concrete block construction on the bottom. So very sturdy home. This home actually went through Hurricane Irma and according to Alexia, it had barely a scratch on it. Everything's in place here for uh, hurricane proofing, your shutters, your, your impact windows. Everything is already in place for that so you wouldn't have to do any upgrades there to get this home um, or have it hurricane ready. So. Um, Another big bonus here that you want to consider when you're looking at a house down here in the Keys. So, I love this heated pool. It's salt water and the hot tub is perfect for everybody to sit around and visit because that's kind of how we do things <laughs> at our house. And look, it's got a ledge here for you to sit down, enjoy your evening cocktails. Tiki bar, tiki hut over and there. And a tiki hut over here. What's the difference in a palapa and a tiki hut? I do not know. Don't know? I or bet our viewers hut. will tell us. I bet somebody will. This is wonderful. Look, you can sit out here and have drinks, have dinner, cook out by the pool with the family, kids swimming. This is great. Oh, I could just stay here all day. <laughs> all right. Look at this storage area, man. This is amazing. And storage comes at such a premium here in the Keys because most of the places are pretty small and they've dedicated their space to outdoor and living. So storage like this yeah. is just wonderful. Don't see this a whole lot. No. Look, we could put our electric bikes in here. Yep. All your fishing rods all of our extra junk and the bait freezer <laughs> and it's all concrete block construction too down here uh -huh. so it's easy to pull everything out spray it off clean it out if there is a flood oh, okay good deal i walked around on this side to show you guys uh the, the uh, carport on this side so actually parking for four cars under the roof they've got that little trailer in there right now so we don't couldn't get the cars all the way in but actually you could get four cars underneath the roof over here Behind me here, as you can see, you got plenty of room for uh, trailer parking over here, which is also super important down here, guys. If you don't have somewhere to put your trailer, if you have a boat and you need to get it out of the water and you need to have a trailer, having this extra storage on the side for trailer or RV parking is absolutely awesome down here. Alleyway down to the top. <laughs> That's adorable. So wow, you got lots of dock space here. How much footage did you say? So this is 75 foot of composite docking. It's mm -hmm. easy to spray off, easy to clean. You do have water and electric at the dock. 15,000 pound boat lift. He's got a 32 foot boat on there. Gets in and out fairly easy. Um, of course, they do want to leave the jet ski dock as well. So mm -hmm. that's a possibility to be included. Fish cleaning table. Um, this is a 100 foot wide canal. It's very easy to turn about just about anything around in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. yeah. Room. So about five minutes out to the ocean, down here, and then just straight out, and then you have the channel that goes out. You can actually see the channel kind of from yeah, here. Yeah, see that. So this is called Sunrise Isle. Mm -hmm. This is called Sunrise Isle because it's an east-facing island, and what ends up happening is that the sun and the moon both come up right here in between these two houses almost every single day. Um, sometimes they shift a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, when there's a full moon out here, it lights it up like daylight. It's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. You could yeah. bring two chairs down here mm -hmm. and yeah. sit and have your evening cocktails absolutely. watching the moon. Great place to watch the eclipses and things yeah. like that too. Beautiful. Oh yeah. That would be amazing. Right, yeah. So Alex, this looks like a very well maintained canal. I see the seawall over there and everything's neat and tidy. Um, what happened with the brown water? So we think that that coloration we're dealing with right now is because of the fact that this was just recently dredged. They're trying to make this canal a better canal. 
um, which of course will increase the home values and things like that along this canal possibly. So what they're doing is they're replacing the culverts that were formerly under this bridge. They pulled those out and they put in what we call riprap. And they're still working on pulling some things out of here to make it to where the water will flow through both sides easier, which should clear the water up in short order, hopefully sooner rather than later. Well, that's a big advantage considering Hurricane Irma probably put a lot of junk in there that's unnecessary and they got all that out yes. and cleaned <laughs> yes. it up so you don't have to worry about hitting it with your boat. Yes, there was a lot of stuff that was pushed into here and left through the storm. Um, they did seem to get most of it out. Um, I do have pictures of them removing some of that stuff because, again, I did live on this canal. Uh, it, was, it was a mess, but mm -hmm. like I said, they're working to get it better for not just the people on this side of the canal, but the people on Sunrise Isle. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Sure. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the, the price and, the, you know, all the good details about this house. Um, so this property is uh, four, three and a half. It is right around 2,800 square feet. Um, you've got an 8,800 square foot lot. Uh, right now it is listed at one million four hundred and twenty three thousand um, great neighborhood Sombrero beach road of course you're a mile to the beach you can walk run ride your bike take your golf cart whatever you'd prefer um maybe five minutes out to the ocean from this canal mm -hmm. so very very good ocean access very quick in and out uh great fishing all around here just a really great neighborhood good deal yeah. alexia so how can our viewers get in touch with you well, give us your information on that. Of course, I'll list it in the description down below, put it on the screen, but how can we get in touch with you, website, phone, that type of thing? So my cell phone number is 305-209-5166. Uh, you can reach me, Alexia, at islandbreezerealty.com, or you can visit my website, which is mykeysrealestate.com. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for taking us through today. We really appreciate yeah. it. We enjoyed it. I think our viewers are going to enjoy this place, probably love this place. And these will be life goals to yeah. live here. This, so, this is one so of my you know. favorite homes too, so I understand completely. It's yeah. gorgeous. I, yeah. I love this house too. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, thanks again. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So that was a great tour. Honey, yep. will you buy that house for us? I will do my best, sweetie. Please? I will see what I can do next, <laughs> next Tuesday on that. I'll get together that money for that house. So you better hurry and get here before we buy it. That's right. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for joining us uh, for another Florida Keys Dream House Hunt. We're uh, really glad that you came along with us. I'm sorry we haven't made a video in the last couple weeks. We've had friends and family in town, and we've just been swamped. But we're going to do our best to get back on schedule for you and get you some more videos on the channel. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us on Gables on the Go, and we'll see you next time. Bye.